Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at third-party plugins for Premiere Pro CC. Third-party plugins are software that you can add to Premiere Pro to make it do more than Premiere can do by itself. Some plugins are free, others have a fee, and all plugins are designed to make your life easier, more interesting, or fun. One of the things I'm fascinated by is the increasing interest by developers in creating plugins for Premiere, with the number of choices rapidly growing. This really had a candle lit under it with the CS 5.5 and CS 6 release. Developers realized Adobe was serious about going after the video market, and they started to support it in increasing numbers. Our first example isn't really a plugin, but a standalone utility but it's really powerful. It's called Soundbite, published by Boris FX at borisfx.com. It's available at their website. It's $295 for one language, $150 for each additional language. What it does is it indexes media stored on any local or network volumes. It quickly locates any spoken word or phrase for review without needing transcripts. It exports all the selected clips for import into Premiere or Final Cut, and it's based on the Nexidia speech search engine. In other words, it's all the benefits of transcripts without actually creating a transcript. Let me show you. This is Soundbite. It allows us to find media using text searches without first creating a transcript. It uses our text query to look into the media file itself and find what we're looking for. Now, the process of finding media really has three steps. First, you have to index what you want to look through. Second, you have to search it. And then third, you have to export it. So there's index, search, and export. Here, I've already indexed two volumes. One is an interview with Dr. Vint Cerf about the Internet. The second is a series of interviews of pilots for an air show. To show you how we index, click on the plus key. This allows you to either import a Final Cut Pro project or add a watched folder. Now, a watched folder means that Soundbite is going to continue to watch that folder as you add new media. It's indexed automatically. But in our case, the media is already collected. I just want to index it. So click Add Watched Folder. Over here on my second drive, inside my Media Samples folder, I've got, there's our air show footage. And there's our Dr. Surf footage. I want to add something. Oh, there we go. These are some interviews I did for my podcast, Digital Production Buzz, and they're stored inside the interview folder. So I'll select the folder that contains the media that I want. There's no limit to the number of clips you index, and all indexing is faster than real time. Click Add, and the language selection dialog appears, allowing you to select what language your speakers are speaking. In this case, I've selected North American English. We have the ability to select a specific channel. For instance, if all your guests are on channel one and you've got a bunch of noise or room tone or a surround mix on other channels, you can specify a specific channel. Most of the time, you're going to be best off leaving this to mix all channels together and click OK. The circle indicates that indexing is going on. And as the circle fills in, it shows the status of the indexing. And there, it's indexed about 30 minutes of interviews in just a few seconds. The indexing process must be done first before we can do any searching. Now let's do a search. I can specify what media I want to search on. I can say search on everything I've indexed because I know somebody somewhere talked about, oh, talked about being a pilot. So I'll type in the word pilot and I don't do anything. I just sit still. And after a few seconds, seven clips show up where in the audio the word pilot is spoken. We can preview one of those clips by double clicking it. That opens up the preview window pilot and we're able to see there's our pilot based. talking. Here, take a listen. Pilot of the Yakovlev display team based. In fact, the marker is placed right exactly on the word pilot. Let me back up a few seconds and play it again. Hopkinson, I'm the uh, lead pilot of the Yakovlev display team based. Notice that I didn't have to do a transcript. It took my text entry, matched it against the internal waveforms, and says, ah, there's a hit. Well, let's take a look at this one. Notice the number indicated here. There's one pilot inside each of these clips. And I can quickly click it, load it into preview. Pilot of the Yakovlev. 
I look around the show here, and there's any number of archive it from the back end, though we private. Now, what's Dr. Surf doing there? I don't want Dr. Surf talking about an air show. He's talking about the internet. Well, let's do two things. Let's close this by clicking toggle preview. And let's say we just want to look at the air show footage and the score. Think of this as sensitivity. If I've got a really noisy environment, you'll want to have the sensitivity be lower. If you have a really clean audio, you want the sensitivity to be higher. Your accuracy improves as the sensitivity improves. Normally, setting this to 75 is a good choice. So now I'm going to search the air show footage for the word pilot, but increase the sensitivity. And instead of seeing seven clips, I only see two. Double click this. Pilot of the Yakovlev display team based here in Dorset. Well, let's get a bit more sophisticated. Let's close this. And I want to search in Dr. Surf. I know at some point he uses the phrase interplanetary internet because he was working on internet that goes between Mars and Earth. Well, there's two hits. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't say interplanetary internet. Maybe he just says the word internet. So let's just say internet. Oh my goodness, look at this. Seven hits inside this clip, five hits inside that clip, four hits, four hits, two, one. We got a wealth of internet hits to click on. Well, watch this. Watch what happens when I double click this clip. Internet telephony. Uh, internet is, is a thing that. Each one of those markers represents the word internet. I can move between markers by clicking here or using the left and right arrow keys, or I can move between clips by clicking here. Internet, you can see the internet got started. The internet. Uh, the internet doesn't work. Internet enabled refrigerator. I international that had uh, no internet enabled refrigerator. Well, Is that not cool? That's just amazing. We can find clips. Now, let's say, hypothetically, that we're doing a documentary on the internet, and I have, say, 100, 200 invent some ridiculous number of audio interviews. I want to pull these into Final Cut, or I want to pull these into Premiere. Select all the clips that have the word internet in them, and notice markers are already applied. When you go up to the File menu, you can export this for Final Cut 10, or Final Cut 7, or Premiere CC, or Premiere CS6. I'm going to do Premiere, click on it. It says, what are you going to call this? I'll call this uh, Export for Premiere store this anywhere. It's an XML file. I'm going to just put it on the desktop, click Save, and that quickly, the XML file has been created by Soundbite. I open Premiere, import this, every clip is imported, and the markers that indicate where the word Internet is located are still there. I can load them up into the source monitor, pull my in, pull my out, and edit it without having to search through hundreds of clips. Soundbite is truly magical for people that are trying to find exactly the right quote. They know somebody said it somewhere, but they can't remember who, they can't remember what, they can't remember where. Soundbite can find it. It's published by Boris FX. It's called Soundbite. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on third-party plugins for Premiere Pro CC. For all our online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store. And, by the way, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all our videos for one low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 500 movies, dozens of hours of training all in-depth, and all up to date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit larryjordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.